Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. So today I'm posting the final installment of my Japan 2018 trip. <laughs> And it's kind of short compared to the other two, so I wanted to hop on here and do... I don't know if this is going to be an introduction, or I guess it has to be an introduction since I just said, Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. Throughout this entire trip, we were actually there for a total of nine days. I. I'm pretty sure about nine days and there is a lot that I didn't film. I don't know if I'll ever be that person who is able to capture every moment on camera when they're out and about. I get so caught up in the moment that I don't even think about pulling out my camera or my phone until it's too late. So anyway, I say all that to say I hope that y'all have enjoyed this series. I hope that y'all got like the gist, like the overall feel of this trip. It was very laid back, pretty unplanned, um, especially considering that my husband is typically an uber planner. This time around he was just like, nah, we're, I'm just going to be chill about it and we will just do whatever once we get there. I personally prefer that style. I like just going to a place and sort of roaming around and seeing what you can find that's available to do and eat and all of that jazz. So I really enjoyed it. The only hindrance for us, I think, was the fact that we don't really speak Japanese. I know very few phrases. I can, you know, the, the important things like arigato gozaimasu and sumimasen and, um, oh, <laughs> eigo ga wakarimasu ka and also nihongo ga wakarimasen. So basically, Thank you, excuse me, do you speak English? And I don't speak <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> also, of course, like, konnichiwa, ohayou gozaimasu, konbanwa, um, daijoubu? I think daijoubu is like, it's okay or I'm okay. Oishi, itadakimasu, like, just very basic things. It helped a little, like I could tell that people appreciated when we would at least try those phrases, but it was a little bit frustrating not being able to actually form coherent sentences. Like we definitely had a couple of instances where we walked into restaurants and they were trying to say something to us and we didn't know what they were saying and they didn't know what we were saying. So we had just this awkward moment of just kind of slowly backing away out the door and then just and they're probably like wow these Americans like <laughs> other than that it was it was a great time one point we went to this temple I cannot remember the name of it but there is a point where you can go down into I think they call it like the belly or something but you it's or the womb it's super dark it is so dark you can't see anything and you have to hold on to these beads that um, like this beaded railing and I guess monks used to walk through it so you hold on to this beading and then you're just like walking and feeling your way through it and you literally cannot see now there is a point that you get to where there's like um a sculpture and there's a little light there and you can look at the sculpture and then you're back in the dark and you're not even there for very long it felt like forever because you literally cannot see like you can't even see your hand in front of your face it freaked me out because I felt like I felt very claustrophobic in there and then I started towards the like towards the end I started to worry that we would never get out like <laughs> I really didn't enjoy that part if you if you're claustrophobic don't don't do it. I was completely worried that I wasn't going to be able to get out and I started to panic a little bit but then right as I started to panic it was over and I saw light and I was like oh my gosh and of course Matt was super into it. He loved it, thought it was super cool. I didn't love it. When we went to the manga museum in Kyoto I was so excited because um, they have different walls of like just full of manga translated in different languages. So like they have an English language wall, they had Spanish, German, French, just all kinds of languages. 
and then tons of manga just throughout the museum on walls that you could look at. And of course the majority of the manga that was displayed is in Japanese and I couldn't really enjoy them because I don't read Japanese. We had this cute drawing made. Oh my goodness, look, look, it's me. And that's Matt. Although I don't think he, he's not, Matt is not as cute as this in real life, to be honest. Don't tell him I said that. It's me and the husband, and we're so cute. Oh, look at us, look at us, oh my God, it's so cute. I was sad that I couldn't really film inside of the manga museum, because that was one thing that I had really wanted to share with y'all, was what it looked like inside, but I was too scared to get caught and get kicked out. If you get to go to Kyoto, go to the manga museum. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this Japan series, and I'm gonna go. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Tastes like that crab stick. <laughs> yeah. For real. I'm excited. Yeah. It's it's fine. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really enjoying myself right now. Walking up all of these steps, you see? Just, no, no.